Okay, we're back in business here, and uh, I'm going to show you benches five and six right now. So these stations, you see down along here, we've actually built four hydraulic systems. And down here, station number five, down at the bottom, you see we've got a common hydraulic tank, but we have a centrifugal pump, and we've got a gear pump. So different loads will have different torque curves. One will be a variable torque curve, one will be a linear torque curve. Your centrifugal pump is gonna have a variable torque curve. Fans will have a variable torque curve. These are the ones you save an awful lot of money when you start to slow their RPM down, if you're able to. Uh, linear torque curve like a gear pump, not so much. What we have here is we've got a, an Eaton S, SVX 9000. It's running the centrifugal pump. Over here we've got another ABB 550 uh, ACS and an ABB bypass. So we'll teach you how bypasses work and you can see the communication cable there. Over here on the centrifugal pump we've got a, a shut off here so we can close the output which is going to cause an increase in current flow and we'll be able to see the effects of that. Over on the gear pump, we can shut that down, but a gear pump is really dangerous. If you start to um, throttle the, the output on it, you're going to drive your, uh, your pressure high. So we've got a Murphy gauge here that we tie back into this. As well down here, on the centrifugal ball pump, we can starve the input. So we will teach you what cavitation sounds like, looks like, and feels like using your senses. Uh, just as we walk back down to the other end, I'm going to get, let me just spin around here. And, okay, down here in the bottom, here we've got a low voltage power circuit breaker, uh, bolt in, ABB. Here we've got a Westinghouse Cutler Hammer, low voltage power circuit breaker rack in. And we'll teach you how they both operate as well within this training program, just because it's all tied together and it's easy enough to do. We'll teach the racking mechanism, how to charge them, how to operate them. And then down here, we've got the guts out of an oil filled transformer. Just come forward here. So when you look, you know, look down like this, so you can see the, um, the cooling vents as the uh, oil comes up through. So when you hear somebody who's saying, don't let an air bubble into a transformer, that's what they're talking about. Okay, spinning around to station number six here. We saw they have the same setup of gauges. Now we've got the ABB running the centrifugal pump. Over here, we've got the SVX 9000 operating the gear pump. And we have the ABB bypass. And we've got to open up right now because we're uh, getting two manufacturers talking together. And you guys know that's always a pain in where. I mentioned components. So here's a bunch of thyristors. We're going to uh, have some of these faulted, some of these guys are good. You guys are going to have projects where you're going to end up testing and finding out which is which. Here's a MOSFET, metal oxide, semiconductor, field effect, transistor, right? And we're going to do the same thing with that. And then the world famous IGBTs, insulated gate bipolar transistor. So those are the guts that you're going to find in your VFDs. Look at this. Here's a Cutler Hammer VFD. There's a Hitachi VFD. Look at that. You open them up and don't they look like they're the same? So lots of things we're going to have showing for you in this. Um, so here, just taking a look at this whiteboard over here, that's actually myself and one of the other instructional designers, a client in uh, the United States has asked us to put together a 10 month training program for uh, young people coming out of the school. They have a situation right now where companies would move to their state, but they do not have enough qualified technicians. And they have companies in their state that would actually expand their operations. They don't again have enough qualified technicians. So we're building a 10 month training program 80% and by the way all of our training is 80% hands-on okay we like hands-on so that forces our instructors when they've got that remaining 20% there's no extra blah 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 there's no war stories we're not going to hear about their dog we're not going to hear about their fishing story 
they're going to be teaching you things you must know about whatever the subject matter ex uh, information is. So anyways, that's a program that we're just doing the instructional design on now. All of our courses are built to specific standards. Uh-huh, I can hear rain outside. So the, uh, there's a, a set of standards called the International uh, board of Standards for Training, Performance and Instruction. So we build our courses to those and then the Old American Society of Training and Development, we build our uh, courses to those standards. We're ISO 9001 certified, so we're, we've got a quality management system. My background, I started in training as a 14 year old kid in 1966 through our Canadian uh, Military Army Cadet Program. And in 1966, I was teaching first-year cadets how to take care of their uniforms. In 1967, I was teaching map and compass. 1968, I was teaching leadership. And in 1969, I was te teaching phys ed instructing. So my background in training goes back a long way. I set up Company in Canada Training Group in 1980. And I spend every day developing training courses, talking to clients, doing needs analysis. and. One of the things I love doing is technical training the trainer courses. Now, this lab here is our fifth training lab. We have four other training labs, uh, two different series. Our uh, series two labs are the are full of equipment anywhere from 120, 240, 480, 600, 5 kV, 15 kV, 25 kV, and those labs are full of uh, gear in operational switch gear. And we use those two labs for doing the um, NFPA 70 arc flash training hands-on for both the 480, 600 volt people as well as medium voltage. So for the medium voltage people, you'll be down on your hands and knees putting ground cables into really obnoxious little grounding points. The other two labs are completely set up with test equipment, four benches, and those are done used for doing the NETA testing um, uh, certification. So right now we have a, a program that takes people from NETA 2 to NETA 3 and sets them up to successfully pass the course. So so that's, that's this lab. This is, we call this lab 3.1 because it's the first of our lab 3 series. Uh, if you need any more information give us a call. Yeah. Our marketing guys will probably have numbers popping up on the screen, but our number is 1-800-661-1663. So, Levy is one of our customer service people. Tanya is another one. They're working with clients all the time, doing needs analysis, putting courses together. All of our instructors are semi-retired guys. If they've got any hair on their head at all, it's going to be gray, just like mine. We've earned our stripes. Uh, yeah, so we've got lots of guys with 40 years of field experience, been there, seen it, done it, and enjoy teaching. So 1-800-661-1663, and if you got anything specific to call, just call and ask for Dave, and I'd be happy to have a chat with you. All right, take care, guys. Thanks a lot for watching our video.